we have made it through another full loop of the hot takes. Now we have two episodes about songs, two episodes about albums, two episodes about theories, and now it's time for the second episode of the stuff that really don't fit into those categories, whether it be about just Josh, whether it be about just Tyler, the band's live set list, any other miscellaneous thing the boys have done, and or if it's about the band in general. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? First off, I hope you're having a good day today. Hope your days go well and hope it continues to go well. Welcome back to another episode of the 21 Pilot Hot Takes, where we are going over your 21 Pilot Hot Takes. If you would like to leave a 21 Pilot Hot Take, go down to the description box below as well as to the pinned comment. There will be a link to this Google form where you can anonymously put in your 21 Pilot Hot Take to be in one of the future videos, whether it be about song, album, uh, theory and apparently or anything else you want to do next week's episode if we have enough will be about 21 pilot songs episode three if we don't have enough we'll combine it with the album one but we'll see how it goes but anyway let's get right into one once again that'll be in the pinned comment description box below but without further ado here are your miscellaneous 21 pilot hot takes the cinema experience was too short and they should have played more songs I feel like Mulberry Street should be taken out of the set list for their next tour. I'm personally not a fan of the crowd work during compared to other songs they've done in the past. Also, musically, it doesn't really fit with their vibe. Icy Tour might have been and may be the best concert. Definitely agree with this. From the four times I've seen 21 Pilots live twice during the Bandito Tour, once for Takeover, once for the Icy Tour, the Icy Tour was by far my favorite because I got to hear Attic with a pen live, which automatically made it the best 21 Pilot concert for me. Not really a hot take, but I'm just a bit confused as to why they didn't play Fall Away during this era. They had Dr. Bloom for two tours, one live stream, a couple festivals, some TV appearances, and they didn't do Fall Away? Even for the Icy Tour, they were doing a throwback medley. They could have brought him for a seconds, and that's just it, or even during the Campfire medley. This is something I definitely have wondered myself because... He's right there. They could have done a fall away right there. And I definitely think this would happen if they did were to do it. Uh, it would be a campfire thing rather than part of the old song medley on B stage just because it wouldn't fit since it is just Tyler's solo. But this is something I've wondered too. I wonder if when making the music and recording and producing it all, Tyler comes up with all of the ideas, even the beats and drum patterns, and is basically like to Josh, just shut up and play your drums. Does Josh do anything else, I wonder? Why, yes, Josh also does all the auxiliary percussion recordings. Uh, he did backing vocals on Trench, according to the liner notes, as well as doing trumpet parts for Blurry Face, at, I think for Skill Nicey as well, and also the trumpet parts in Legend off of Trench. And I think Josh does come up with all of the drum beats. Like Tyler may come up with the rough scratch, but Josh records them all in his home. And it's not an uncommon thing for producers to take the drum sounds and replace them. There are programs that do that. So if for some reason, as we saw on Chlorine, the drums that were on there Paul replaced them with various sounds using programs. After Dima's storyline ends, they should revamp some no fun intended songs. There's some great gems that with good mixing would be amazing. I really miss the distorted bass of Jumpsuit in the live stream version as well as their live performances in the Psy era. Well, I, it's still there. I just watched a couple of versions of them performing live in the Psy era and a couple of versions performing live in the Trench era. And indeed, there is still that distorted tone. It might be slightly less distortion, but regardless, it's still there and it's still there in the live stream version. And if there wasn't, you could tell because the tone would sound like... Very clean as such, rather than something like this. Or even something along the lines like, let's say this. No, 
not that much distortion. They have never used that much distortion, but it's still there. Trees needs to be dropped from the set list for a bit, and the way T.O.P. ends their shows needs to change. 21 Pilots Live is better with just Tyler and Josh than with the entire Psy bands. Josh's mohawk in the Vessel era was a little off, but I still love the album. I really miss the distorted bass in Jumpsuit Live performances, and I'm starting to get concerned that I just might be hearing things and I'm convincing myself there's distortion. T.O.P. has the coolest storyline and concept out of anything I've listened to, specifically Trench. The letters, the music videos, and the lyrics are also intriguing to me, and I hope they continue to do more like this in the future. My hot take is I wish 21 Pilots was more open about their faith. It's the main topic on self-titled, Vessel, Blurry Face, and now they seem to distance themselves from talking about it as much. I think their faith made their older music so unique and now I feel like it's largely gone. I wish T.O.P. would talk about their faith more. I feel like in the days of Self-Titled and Vessel, that was a lot the, the focus in their music, and now it feels like they're scared to touch that stuff now. If they move away from their faith, that's fine, but I wish they'd be more open about it in their music. I miss when the band had faith slash Christian themes in it because it was very relatable. It also made them different from most popular artists out there because it wasn't negative towards it, but rather showed it as something good. I did purposely put these three back to back to back with each other and I really hope these are multiple people rather than just one individual person putting this three times. And I have seen this at various points online and like people on Reddit tying their older songs back to Bible verses. But something about where they are now, specifically with Trench and Scale Nicey, is that in the Dima storyline, Tyler has stated that he is writing from a perspective of a godless world. So largely, you're, it's harder to find the uh, themes of faith and Christianity within the music because Tyler is putting himself in this godless world that we call Dima, filled with bishops, trash dragons, banditos, and all that stuff. And it's possible there are still uh, themes with hidden within the lyrics, and you just have to go find them, like Leave the City. But who knows if they will return to that stuff after, or if something will happen in this next album. Unpopular opinion, but I want more ARGs from the band like Level of Concern ARG. I just found it really fun and hope Tyler and Josh does more stuff like this even after the whole Dima story is done. MTV Unplugged was pretty unnecessary and didn't feel like anything we hadn't seen before. Tyler already did something similar years prior live. My main problem with the Unplugged is that I was anticipating a refreshing acoustic and varied set list, but what we got was very samey set list of mediocre to decent live remixes. Meh. Was it unnecessary? 100%. 20 pilots did not have to do it. Am I happy they did? Oh, absolutely, because we got heavy, dirty car radio and heathens and fantastic. As far as didn't feel like anything we hadn't seen before, what do you mean? Josh was never involved in the location session stuff, so, and we got to hear him sing. That's good. I mean, the closest thing they did together was the mute mask stuff, but... Yeah. The worst part about 21 Pilots is the fan base. I think the Cyban people are really talented, but I don't want them to be a part of the next album's tour or be a part of 21 Pilots. I like it when it's just Tyler and Josh. This is no way trying to be disrespectful to the Cyban members, but when I think of 21 Pilots, I only think of Tyler and Josh. And I think that's how most people feel. And I don't think Tyler and Josh are saying that those four guys are members of 21 Pilots. That's not it at all. It's like when Green Day would go out with another guitar player and some horn players. Those guys aren't a part of Green Day. They are just part of their backing band. Or if Guns N' Roses wants to bring a whole symphony on the road with them. Those, not every single one of those guys are part of Guns N' Roses. But it's kind of like that sort of situation where it's just a backing band. It's just for support. I would like a Dima slash Trench novel. I think that'd be cool. And Tyler said he's probably going to be working on one. Josh's colored hair during Vessel, Blurry Face, and Trench eras was kind of cringe. I like his natural hair the best. He didn't dye his hair during the Trench era. 
Dude was bald, that was natural from then on out. Vushu should talk to us more, and same goes with the pop song professor. I miss those dudes. I miss them too, and I really wish they would still upload content. Sadly, both of them have since retired. Pop song professor still promises five more videos, and pretty sure none of those have happened since. I don't know, but I do miss them. And finally, Saiban somewhat ruined the style and magic of T.O.P. Well, there's that. A lot of people want to see the Psy Band gone. I still want to be a part of them. If I was a part of the Psy Band, would you still say the same thing? But anyway, guys, that brings us to the end of another Hot Take episode. If you have any uh, 21 Pilot Hot Takes, make sure to submit them down in the Google form. That way, everything is all anonymous and such. I may do a variation on one of these in the future, so stay tuned to that. But for now, keep leaving your Hot Takes down in the Hot Take form. We'll keep going until we start running out of steam, because people like this. People keep submitting, so we'll keep on going. Anyway, it is currently going on one o'clock. I need to record some vocals tomorrow, so I will see you all later. Goodbye, and good night. More importantly, have a good day, and I'll see you later.